What's up? Gear Check with Sage here, and today I'm talking helmets from Smith. My go-to helmet is all new. It's called the Nexus, new to Smith's lineup. But I also want to talk about some of the helmets I've used in the past, including the Quantum, which was maybe my primary helmet over the last few years. It's now been discontinued. It's a great helmet, but it was time for an evolution, and the Nexus is the evolution in that helmet. I'm excited to talk about this more, but first I'm gonna kinda of go back through a couple of the helmets that I've used and some of the more tried and true and some of my favorites there. So all time, long time helmet that's been a part of the line is the Vantage. What I love about the Vantage is that it's just a tried and true and great all around helmet. It's made of dual construction, so it has a lighter weight bottom half and the top is a bit more durable and a bit firmer of plastic. It has dual vents, which you can adjust these sliders featuring choroid, MIPS. It has a standard buckle and of course the BOA adjustability. So some great features and it's quite light. I love the adjustable vents. I'm one of those people that is adjusting the vents constantly. I feel like I maybe adjust them nearly every day and it'll be, oh, if I'm hiking, I make sure the vents are open or if I'm on the chairlift, maybe I shut them down because it's windy and cold. Sometimes I'll close just the front one so that warm air can still evaporate off the back of my head, but I'm not getting wind kind of blowing on my head, cooling myself down. Or if you are getting too warm, open all the vents right up move a bunch of air across your top of your head quite easily and you're good to go. So Vantage tried and true awesome helmet another one that's been in the line for a while it's a great helmet and on the more lightweight side is the Code. Code's a really cool helmet similarly comes with BOA this has the fit lock system so it's a magnetic buckle Makes it very easy to do up. Uh, minimal venting, you just have the front vents and these two back vents. And you really have this lightweight, you still get choroid, MIPS, still fully functions. And the code is just single construction and lightweight kind of made for people hiking more now the code awesome helmet and smith also has some more lightweight helmets that are new this year i don't have yet but that if you're into the lightweight helmets keep your eyes out for those and what i'm mostly going to talk about today mostly what i'm going to talk about today is the nexus I just really like the durability of the helmets like the Nexus with this harder plastic. If you drop your helmet while you're going to the ski hill or just the bumps that can get along the way in transit, you don't have to worry about those being catastrophic to your helmet or risking it. So I just like the durability of the helmets like the Nexus that have this harder shell. Really cool exoskeleton on here. Good uh, goggle retention strap here. Little bit of a new design there, just e quite easy to use. Very cool look. The ear pads are now this. The ear pads are now made with this knit material. It's quite nice. Dual vents. I think this is a prototype. The uh, green choroid wouldn't be uh, actually in here. Really cool looking helmet. Pop it on for you. Looks good. Uh, the Nexus also has Fidlock again, real easy to get. Put it on with some goggles, goggle retention strap, easy to do even with gloves on. 
A lot of people complain about how they can't hear as well if they wear a helmet. I don't know. I mean, I don't really notice that. I've been wearing helmets for 20 years since I was nine years old or something. I feel like I can hear really well in the helmets, even though there is a little bit of muffling that goes on. There is an ear pad insert that you can take out so you can hear even better if you unzip the bottom. You can pop that thing out if you're uh, sensitive to that. I love how helmets keep my ears warm. They keep my head warm. I can regulate the temperature so easily with the vents. And then I can throw my helmet and then in addition, I can throw my goggles on top of my helmet and I can hike for a long time and my goggles are never going to fog. If you throw your goggles on your hat, they fog almost instantly, even if you're not even hiking. So I love the features of a helmet. I like to say, now the reasons I wear a helmet are one, it keeps me warm. Two, keeps my goggles from flying off. Three, protects me from random sticks or ice pieces falling. And four, finally, it protects me from crash. So impact protection is really not even the first thing or the second or the third <laughs> reason that I wear a helmet. So that's my two cents. The Nexus comes in a bunch of different colors. Great helmet. Whatever one you pick, won't be disappointed. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Any comments? And uh, thanks for watching.